Rick, I was just going to ask you how maybe this uh, rookie camp differs from maybe what we've seen in the last couple of years. It seems very hands-on and a lot of teaching going on. Well, exactly. I think last year kind of set the tone for this year and the fact that the other assistant coaches jumped on board and took over a lot of the on-ice curriculum, which lines up with the things that we need to talk about for development for our young young prospects. Is it maybe hard because these guys go back to their, most of them or all of them will go back to their uh, respective teams. Is it hard to teach them and, and have them maintain and have that everything that you taught them stick with these guys, especially when you have a summer off? Well, there's a bit of a challenge with that for sure, Tommy, but uh, you know, we have everything on video, all the drills are done and we have all the curriculum set and, and uh, we will be harping back on some of these key points throughout the year with our prospects that we talk about on the ice here in Jasper. How much intensity do you guys want out of these guys? Because there was a brisk pace out there. Well, I think it's important that they, when they're in the drill, they're executing with intensity and, and with purpose. And, uh, you know, and, and it, it, we don't, we're not looking for a lot of tempo and flow in the practice. The practices can be slowed down. It's all about teaching and development. But uh, when they're actually in the drill, we'd like to see more of a game pace. And they're able to carry that quite well right now. What kind of an impact does it make when they have the head coach coming down and addressing some of these guys? Oh, I think it's great. And, and that's the one thing that we, we said was so great about being here in Jasper is that it's so intimate. The, the players, like, we walk around, we bike around with the staff. They walk around with the players. And Todd makes himself available all the time. And when he sees things... Uh, you know, he's really good at coming down and, and giving a lesson on it and talking about the why and, and, and the, the, the purpose behind doing a certain tactic a certain, a certain way. And they feel like, hey, this guy's serious about us too if, if you've you know, got the head coach actually coming down. Well, if, if I'm a player, like, you just soak that stuff up. Like, you're, you're getting uh, some pretty good advice from some, some very well-established coaches in the National Hockey League. You guys uh, signed Ethan Bear onto three years. He's sort of really taken a big step in the past year. What was it about his game? Or how come? Well, I, I think him and Caleb Jones really had good seasons this year. And, uh, you know, Ethan's offensive game really evolved and and he was able to, you know, contribute offensively. But more than anything else, I think he rounded out his game away from the puck too. He was a lot better in the D zone, checking down low. He had, you know, good corner battles. He was tougher in front of the net. But his game's all about the puck and transition and moving his feet and and he did a really good job with that throughout the year and he was able to put up some offensive numbers and you know Caleb Jones same thing both kids kind of grew into their mm -hmm. into more of a, a two-way game and uh, they both benefited. One those, Ethan one of those guys that gets drafted you know later in the rounds but just he's kind of proof that it doesn't end there it's, it's where it starts. Uh, exactly I, I you know and I think Todd does a good job of talking to these players last night at our at our dinner and Talking about, you know, we have a lot of free agents here that, uh, you know, didn't, didn't get drafted. And that doesn't mean that they're never going to play in the NHL. And, you know, just because you get drafted in the first couple of rounds doesn't necessarily guarantee a job either. It sometimes comes from within the player. And, and if they're motivated to, to get better and have that growth mentality, that uh, they're going to get better and they're going to pass some guys for jobs. How would you say the mentality or attitudes are of the prospects coming into camp? I've seen a really positive group of kids come through yesterday, and and they worked hard in the fitness testing. It wasn't easy, and and there was uh, some players are are really um, I, I guess this is new to them. They haven't been through the uh, the the, the regimen that that our fitness people put them through, but uh, they came out of that all smiles and excitement and stuff. And then when they got to Jasper this morning, they woke up. They were up there at their bikes by probably quarter to seven this morning, off to breakfast and had breakfast. They're early at the rink, early on the ice, and there's, there's a high level of enthusiasm here. And is there anything in particular you guys are looking to instill upon the players, an impression that you're looking to leave on them? Well, it's a good question because we want them to sort of mix a little bit. You know, like we have players from college, from junior, from from the Czech Republic, from Sweden, from Finland. We want these kids to w enjoy the experience here, but when they leave here to have met somebody they, they would never have had a chance to meet before and, and get to know each other a little bit better, get to know the coaches a little bit better, and that's sort of what we're trying to push upon them. Jesse uh, got some, some stuff cleaned out of his knee a while ago. He's, he can't skate. Um, just having him here, what can you impress upon him? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what the surgery was all about, but... Uh, 
uh, having him here and, and, and listening to the, he's in the video meetings, he's in the, uh, he's, he's watching the practice, he's in with the coaching meetings and things like that. So, you know, he's, he's understanding what it takes to be an Edmonton Oiler one day and, and uh, this is all going to help him. And when he goes back home for some time this summer, he'll have some things to work on and hopefully come back and, uh, you know, take a stab at being an Oiler.